All right, just had to show you this thing. This is gonna be real quick. This came in for cleaning. I've already cleaned it. And I thought, well, this, there's no way this thing's gonna work. Check that out. That, that's a CDP-111 compact disc player from 1984. This thing was made, holy moly. Take a look around this thing. I'm just using my phone real quick. Look at that big old heat sink down there. It's got four, four big ICs or power transistors on it. Big, big transformer. There's the CD mechanism right there. There's the optical pickup. I went ahead and cleaned that and I had the mechanism out and lubed the sled and everything in it. Lubed the uh, turntable motor right there. Check that out. This is how they recognized if there was a disc in the unit or not. There's actually a uh, red LED on the top board and a detector on the bottom board. Check this out. Let me close the drawer. It read the disc. Can you believe that? This thing actually still works. It is very unbelievable. <laughs> this thing. And the guy's got a matching receiver that goes with it. Check this thing out. Here's the front of it. Digital. Yeah. They were touting digital back then. This is one of the first CD players they made. Check out that timer. Uh, you can have it set so when the power comes on, it begins to play a disc. But, I mean, just look at the way this thing is built. Holy moly. Let's go ahead and get the drawer back open. Here's the open-close button actually on the drawer itself. Still working after all these years. Anyhow, I just wanted to show you this vintage CD player. Let me see. This disc actually has uh, 18 tracks on it. So let me uh, close the drawer. It's going to read the table of contents. There it read it. It doesn't even put up a track display, but... Let's see if we can get to track 18 and hit play. You can hear it. Disc is slowing down. There it is, track 18. I mean, this thing works really good for its age. Anyhow, I just want to show you this vintage CD player that is still operating to this day. Hope you enjoyed this quick little video. If you did, go ahead and uh, give it a like down there. Hit the subscribe button to my channel. It does help my channel grow. You can follow me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter at NorCal715. You can email me, NorCal715videos at gmail.com. Once again, thank you so much for watching this short little video. Remember, with your help, we can try to keep these things out of the landfill, out of the recycle bin, and out of the e-waste facility. Once again, thanks for watching this quick little demonstration video. I really do appreciate it. Everybody have a great day. Bye-bye.